Hey there, Guilty Gamers. It's Claire here again. And I have a game called Into the Unknown. Uh, the Sunset Wolf played this over on his channel, and he recommended it. Apparently it's a horror-esque game, but it's not like standard horror. Um, it's supposed to be really weird, so I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. It is apparently keyboard only, so let's see where this takes us. By Fire Games. Thank you guys, Fire Games. Loading. Long load screens. And of course, Waz. Who's talking? Is that me? F. There's a safe here. It seems to be locked. Go to the radio tower. This is weird. All right. Radio tower. It said northwest. Northwest, northwest, northwest. About this way. Well. Oh. I should be crossing a river then, I believe. Okay. So this game is interesting so far. Um Yep, there's the river. Oh, it's not as big as I thought it would be. Camp cabin radio tower. I guess I can just go right across. Alright, don't mind getting wet. There's a wall, obviously. There's something forming off in the distance. It's gonna be on the dark side of it, ain't it? Yep. Oh, that was a door. Uh, hello? Is anyone there? Uh, hello, hello. Is someone there? Uh, yeah. My name's Rachel. Oh my... <laughs> oh, thank God, so good to hear someone. <laughs> have, have you come to save me? Uh, sorry, no. I actually have no idea where I am. Oh, I, um, I, uh, I see. Well, uh, my name's, uh, Connor. I'm guessing you found my note, or you wouldn't be here now. That was you? Do you know where we are? I was, uh... I kind of hoping you knew how to get out. Well, I guess we're both stuck here together. What have you got on you right now? Just this radio and the map you left. Alright then. Well, I'm guessing since you just got here, you don't know what happened tonight. What happened? There's this big black cloud. I like to call it the shadow. It only comes out at night, and it's not friendly. It'll charge at you without warning, and if it gets you, you'll start feeling fatigued. If it keeps going at you, you'll pass out. Happened to me, and now I'm where the heck I am. But I've learned it's scared of light. There's a lighter at the camp I've been living at. I've taken the liberty of marking it on your map. It should be to the east of you, somewhere along the river. It should be enough to scare it off for a while, but not long. It also gets fairly dark at night, so you could use it to help there, too. All right. I ain't going out there. The lighter. Good, good. Call me on the radio if you get what you're supposed to do. I have to talk to you soon. <laughs> Alright, so... It is dark as all hell outside right now. 
And I really don't feel safe going out there at the moment. That was weird. Bit of a texturing glitch. Alright, so that's east, southeast. <sighs> Holy carp. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And if anything, if nothing changes outside. Uh, what do I need to do again? Oh. You need to get to that camp and pick up the lighter. Should be to the east of your map along the river. Okay. I'll Holy get crap, back. it's so dark. Holy crap, it's so dark. No, close that. I can't do anything to the map. Oh good. It's getting light out. I only feel safe moving in daytime. So if it's gonna be a lot of waiting, uh, I'm gonna skip a lot of those parts. Or at least for you guys anyway. Alright. East, southeast, so roughly this way. Oh, I'll just follow the fucking river. Okay, so this game. Alright, let me actually talk about the game for a moment. Instead of being a pussy and being scared of the dark. The game itself is actually pretty well done. I imagine this was a very small team of devs, but, like, good job, guys. Everything's really well meshed out. The water is a little weird. Like, I don't think water moves like that, but eh. Of course. Okay, I'm on my way. Okay. Of course, it's in the factory that's you know all the way up here. Uh, I noticed the trees are uh, basically cut and paste because they see the same branches. Um, and that's not a huge issue. Because, you know, limitations and all that. Oh, there it is. I almost overshot it. Um, but no, the trees are actually really well done. Like, they're a little low res, but eh. The Skyrim's a little ro low res if you get up close enough to anything. Or you don't have PC and, like, didn't mod the shit out of it like I did. Uh, oh, who's... I, 
I've got to go, like right now. Oh shit, I just realized my lighter has fuel. Oh my gosh, this game is so dark. Like, physically. I can't see shit. I'll try and brighten it up for you guys. Maybe you'll be able to see a bit more than I could. <laughs> That's silly. Like, there's nowhere else in here that he could be. Um, here are the papers. Uh, Rachel, Rachel, can you hear me? Did you get in? Connor, are you okay? What happened? I'm fine. A man just came over and asked me a few questions. What? What kind of questions? It's not important right now. What's important is that we know how to get out of here. Did you find those papers? Oh, yeah. The papers read that there's a button where the river splits. Alright, great. Perfect. Hey, uh, I also found this code. I think it might go to the safe room. Have it. Th that's nothing. Just forget about it. Make your way to that switch. And we're getting out of here. Nope. Don't trust you. Really don't trust you. So 96... Nah, going for the safe. Ah, parkour! So if I head directly south and slightly west, I should be able to get to that safe. Because I don't trust Connor. Connor seems like a diabolical son of a bitch. There's the radio tower. So I should be... there's the cabin. I'm glad I have this unlimited sprint thing going. Although I think I'm just literally hovering. Do I have a shadow? No, the map has a shadow. You're making a mistake, Rachel. Just go to the river like we planned. Don't make this difficult. Oh, I didn't have to remember it? Had to pull the switch. Oh. Had to ruin everything. All the other test subjects did as I asked. We went to the river, pressed the button, got out without even knowing about the test. And now, years of study wasted. Now the world will have to live on what's to come, and it's on your hands. What? Out. There's the door. You can leave whenever you feel like it, but I'd make it soon. Goodbye, Rachel. Uh, what? Dun dun dun! Twist ending. It was a test all along. All right. Cool. I did it. Hmm. 
I'm gonna... Do I wanna go through this again and get the other ending? Nah. I'll let you guys play it. One of you, one of you will follow directions, I'm sure. So. That was kinda cool. Like, it was simple, it was short, and I really didn't expect the twist ending. The room looked a little weird, so I was like, wait a minute. Is this like black tiling everywhere? But then it made sense once the, the big secret was revealed. Um, but no, yeah, that was actually pretty fun. Good job, guys. I think it was fire or something. Whatever. Team fire, Fireball, whatever. <laughs> I'll post a link in the description to this game. You can find it on Itch.io. That's where I've been finding a lot of my little indie stuff that I've been playing lately. But no, that was actually pretty fun. I liked it. It was short and sweet. Didn't want to see the monster, but that was of my own doing. I, I refused to go out in the nighttime. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button for me to check out all the other great content on my page. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to make everyone a guilty gamer. And as always, this is Claire, signing off for now. Bye bye guys. Thank you.